Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here. Welcome to another video. It's early. It's 7 p.m. I cannot sleep. I'm not working today, so I decided to make a new video. Uh, this one will be about a Globe version 3 ransomware. How you can remove it and how you can easily restore your files, recover them, and encrypt them. So this is the sample file. Uh, and let's run it to see what what will happen over here are, are my uh, sample files photos uh, music documents there it is and the malicious process as you can see let's wait for a couple more seconds uh, here are instructions how you can recover your files and as you can see svhost.exe has stopped working because uh, it was replaced by a malicious uh, svhost I believe uh, it's this one I'm not that sure but over here as you can see all files names has been changed to random uh, letter and numbers with extension dot lock so uh, first thing you need to do is to remove the ransomware then you can try to do a system restore and if it doesn't work we will use uh, MCSoft decryptor for uh, globe 3 so let's get started with removal process here in the recycle bin I have Norton Power Racer and the decryption tool as you can see let's run Norton Power Racer why is it in recycle bin well this uh, ransomware um, also affects uh, that exe file so uh, I want to save it let's do a system scan with Norton Power Racer it's not that hard to remove the, the ransomware by itself, but um, the decryption uh, may take some time depending on how, how many files you have on your system. Alright, as you can see, Norton Power Racer detected two items. The first one is ASVC host. This is a file. Let's try to locate it. It's uh, in app data folder roaming over here and the second one is a registry value and uh, current version policy system as you can see so let's remove all of them it's creating a system restore point and I will restart the machine after this and we will continue alright so Norton Power Racer uh, removed these two items and now after this um, I forgot to show you the um, ransomware message as you can see this is your personal ID how you can pay how you can buy Bitcoin and um, this is the address where you need to send a screenshot of payment at india.com so it says no payment, no decryption. And uh, now uh, you can try to do a system restore. Over here, click on backup and restore. So Windows backup uh, has not been uh, set up on this system yet. But if you have it. Uh, you can try here uh, select another backup uh, to restore files from and uh, it will search the system for previously created images uh, or recover system settings on this computer click here and over here you have some advanced methods like um, previously created image and uh, if you have it, I don't have it now, 
and this should work fine if if it doesn't then you can use uh, decryption tool from mcsoft for globe 3 i will put the link in the description so in order uh, for this one to work you will need original file and um, the same one and that's encrypted so uh, this this can be a little bit hard because uh, this ransomware changed all names but if you have a folder and uh, you have only couple files in there then find the original file somewhere on your cloud on your dropbox i don't know google drive or on your phone other computer laptop phone wherever and uh, copy it on your usb device transfer it to your system uh, like i did with this one this is a uh, one sample photo it's called video as you can see and uh, check the size it's 1.66 megabytes as you can see so uh, I know that uh, the same file is in here in sample files folder so it should not be that hard to locate the same file use it uh, details and size find this one with uh, 1.66 that should be this one yes there it is so let's transfer this one to a desktop and now select both files encrypted and the original file and just drop them uh, to this decryptor so it uh, took about uh, one or two minutes and it says decryption key found as you can see and uh, over here you can read please keep in mind that these are a uh, slight sh chance that uh, this key might be wrong we suggest trying decryption of your uh, files first to check uh, whether it's working correctly so keep in mind that uh, sometimes you need to do with a um, couple more files this procedure so agree over here you select your drives which you want uh, to encrypt uh, it selected the, en the entire C drive let's remove it and let's try with only this folder as you can see this is a sample files folder click on decrypt this should be fast as you can see and let's open the folder now and there it is as you can see files are now free to go yeah it's working fine so thanks for watching everyone don't forget to comment rate and support my videos by clicking on subscribe button over here my photo and see you soon with more videos so thanks for watching and bye bye for now